Hi there and welcome to Susan the Weather Platform where we speak to the power. Uh, this young lady right here, this this beautiful young girl here, she is very eloquent, um, clearly full of um, you know brain and you know she's been aware of what's going on. And I would like President Tinubu and all of our politicians to listen to her. Just listen to her. Let me give you a little clip of what you just said now. I'm a can you guess what to happen? What has maybe the worst in it? Our one thousand naira not has the value of hundred naira for now. Jesus. See, she is so. I don't. I, I don't think she's even ten. I don't think she's ten years old. Amazing talent that should be nurtured. We call on. We are saying to you all. This young girl, I believe that she should be taught about this. She should be made aware of the powers that she possesses. She doesn't know, i.e. sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through its constitution, derives all its powers and authority. But before we go too far ahead, let's go back again to the beginning and hear her um, entirely. Here we go. Watch. In fact, begin from where you've been beginning before. Nigeria, my country, the giant of Africa now. I'm speechless. This girl is eloquent. This is talent that should be nurtured. I mean, <sighs> look, the, it gives me hope. That's what I'm saying. That we need to really teach. She should. She will be, be able to understand this this message in here. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria, from whom the government, through its constitution, derives all its powers and authority. This young girl, lady, gets it. And what we need to do is to encourage this kind of thing. We need to teach them about it so they can begin to hold their government to account. Because now they are all coming out and complaining, but they don't aware. Even she is not aware that if she come together within their community and use exercise their sovereignty, the government will have no other choice but to do what they what the people want. So I mean, this is amazing. But let's let's carry on. I appreciate this, my lady. I appreciate her. This is terrible for the present times of our people. In fact, and I still remember Princess Robert Olubola. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing I, I mean it's a great talent this girl uh, let's watch again let's watch again i'm not going to interrupt let's watch again let's watch begin from where you've been beginning before nigeria my country the giant of africa now are you going to be the dwarf of africa today nigeria has many stories to tell economically nigeria is popularly known as a developing country their income has not grown so astute mentally. Socially, Nigeria societies are full of crime. Another immoral act that you cannot think of, such as courtism, kidnapping, gunmen, everywhere, terrorism of all kinds. This is because there is no work, no food. In fact, there is no social amenities. I may tell you that in my year 2020, there is a human body. Can you guess what will happen? What has maybe the worst in it? Our one thousand naira not has the value of hundred naira for now. Jesus Christ! Why then do we? Why then do we need this increment? Knowing fully well that salary increase from time immemorial has never been 
Now, what I will say is that we need to, these are the kind of people we need to, the youth, we need to nurture with knowledge. That's why, she doesn't know what I'm saying. This thing I'm saying here, I wonder if I could get in touch with them and let them know. Everybody in that community, they're sitting down there and watch listening and they're good at there it's very good that they're eloquent but they need to know the power they possess to empower them to now begin to fix their communities because they possess those powers within them but they've been blinded by the lies this is amazing this young girl is so inspiring for me it makes me just it leaves fills me with optimism about what she's i don't think she's even 10 and what she's saying with such eloquence is so true but the bit that is missing is that the, the lack of knowledge of the fact that we have sovereignty uh, uh, collectively that we can use to hold our governance to account. So um, I hope this message gets to her and others as well. Great stuff. Kudos to this young girl. Um, we just need her to know. And, and, and I hope those who will be watching this video uh, will let her know about Section 14.2a of the Nigerian Constitution. Because she's... The way she's speaking, she will get it. As soon you say it to her, you explain to her, she gets it. And I mean, and there are many more of them like that. It's amazing. Listen, let's before I go, for everyone, for the opportunity of everybody who may listen to it later on and who will watch this, please, I want you to please take a copy, take a screenshot of the words above my head, which states, It is hereby accordingly declared that sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government through this constitution derives all its powers and authority. Take a screenshot of that. Put it in your phone. Share it. Let it reach this young lady and many other people as well. And then how you do use that power is through participation. And of course, participation 14 to C. The participation by the people in the government shall be in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. These are information we should teach our, teach our youth and making sure that our community begin to collectively come together and stand up together and exercise these powers. We have never used these powers in 24 years. It is time we use it to hold our governors account because they abide by the constitution and this is written in our constitution and we need to use those powers to ensure that we actively participate in our local government, local government areas to f ensure that they build the roads, the water, the light, the infrastructures that we need for the to create a bright future for this young lady here this beautiful young lady here it's incredible i mean i could watch her all day it's amazing um yeah you're watching this now right? the platform where we speak with the power the song behind says how long how long how long are we going to suffer how long we're saying that because we want you to to really be you know thinking about the message in the song you can of course download the song on itunes and on spotify help us with more people because it's got a powerful message in it let us reach as many people as possible with the message. And of course, please subscribe to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak to the power. Hit the notification button and of course, give us a thumbs up. Uh, here's what you need to do. Subscribe. Subscribe to Citizen AY. Hit the notification button. Then give us the thumbs up. Help us reach more people. We really need your support. Um, the more we speak about this, the better. Please help us share the message. And we hope... Uh, uh, this lady here, this young lady here, this young girl, uh, her future. Uh, we need to really collectively take action. We can. It's no longer acceptable for us to be on our knees in a church in a mosque or in a mosque when the powers that I am showing you are not contained in the Quran or the Bible. They are in our constitution. We need to begin to use those powers immediately, ASAP as soon as possible asap right now begin to encourage our people share this knowledge please i urge you you're watching this is the platform where we speak to the power subscribe hit notification button notification button and of course give us a thumbs up help us share this message we need this message to empower us in our community we have the powers in our local languages and english and make sure people have this on their phones everywhere to begin to exercise those powers collectively Crit critically is collectively it is our collective active participation that will make a change nothing else thank you for watching you've been watching this is why the platform where we speak truth to power i'll back later on bye for now